What's up guys? Welcome back to another round. We're at round two of North Carolina Hair Scramble Series starting off. Feeling really good today. Bike doesn't start so you know pull a wheelie for, for style down the start straight. But yeah, I got there first, picked a good spot. I was ready to ready to roll today but uh, you know, sissy kicked it on the start so... Um, we're in the back. There's Matthew Nix uh, getting roosted. Uh, conditions today are primo, pretty much. It's a little muddy in spots, but honestly, for Denver, this is as good as it gets. And you know, they made a few track changes, starting off right here. So, um, yeah, we're getting into it and uh, see how many spots we can make up. We got Ray up there and Dustin Gross in the red. <laughs> Pace is hot and heavy early on here. We're sending it. Everyone's trying to pass everyone. It's chaos right now. Whoa, almost made a pass there. He he must have clipped something washed out. I was glad I was a little bit back. All right, there's one pass coming through the the mud section. We got another mud straight away up here, trying to make another pass. In here behind Steve Ray went down here, uh, pulling his bike out of the way, let us come through. Um, but yeah, Papa Steve McSwain, uh, legend in this series. Following him for a little bit here. A bad line. Didn't see the, the turn was there. It was a set of ribbon that looks like it's already torn down. And uh, old Matthew gets back in front of me here. So that, uh, that sucked a lot. You know, we're already in the back and trying to make up some time. But... Uh, just gotta be a little smarter than that sometimes on the first laps. make a little move there on Matthew and I ended up getting by Steve and Dustin as well as they both were still ahead of me after my mistake and uh, this is the next lap we've caught up to Noah Tankersley 
uh, first year in the double A class, and he was he was riding really good today. It was a, it was impressive. It took me a little bit to catch him on this lap, so um, following him for a little bit here. <laughs> started trying to get close because I didn't know if he knew about this inside line I had missed on the first lap so I was trying to get a little closer to him here and uh, yeah it makes for some good battling on camera I need to get closer to guys when I'm battling them more often <laughs> About it so now I just have to hope that he doesn't take the line that I took on the first lap to pass Matthew up here I know that's a good spot to pass as well <laughs> Made that happen, and now we're on to Trey Edwards. Uh, some of you may know Trey from a few years ago. He used to race the pro class. He took a little break, and he's back. So, uh, yeah, we're ripping it here on this. <laughs> getting a little chaotic here with lappers and you know keep an eye on him up there Damn, <laughs> goes down so now we're uh, we're ripping here I think this is the same lap and I catch up to a new guy in the class his name is Dylan Wolf uh, looked him up on Instagram he seems like he's pretty fast dude on a, on a moto track and he's not too shabby here in the woods either so um, we're running him down and uh, yeah we'll see Let's see how many more guys we can pick off here <laughs>
quick readjustment of my brake lever. My uh, my my mount was loose for some reason and it kept sliding down, so I just changed it there. Able to sneak by right here in this next lap I'm gonna show you the whole thing um, me trying to chase the boys down I think I catch Dawson on this lap and Trey is still right there with me so enjoy <laughs>
one last piece of exciting stuff here we're just a uh, couple laps from the end here uh, I go to take a different line and chaos ensued <laughs> Somehow, just kind of rolled right through that, not too banged up, was able to get up, and uh, Trey got by me there, but he ended up having an issue, so I was able to secure second place and seventh overall to finish the day. Oh.